The ATV is the key to unlocking the swamp areas, which includes third tier resources like Titan and Birch. But the devs don't want you to get it yet, because if you did, you would stop playing the game. In May of last year, Kafir released the first roadmap for the development of Last Day on Earth. At that time, they had just replaced the big one for the Witch in the Infected Forest and laid out several more updates to come, with the last four being far more exciting than the others. They stayed true to this roadmap at first, adding the RPG system change and enemies that could damage you in Sector 7. Later, they added the farm and weapon modifications, but as they got closer to the promised ATV update, they began to diverge from their plan and started adding more events like the convoy and the police station. Around that time, which was about five months after releasing the initial roadmap, they released a second roadmap. This new roadmap includes clans in Sector 7, more new locations and events, and was the first hint that they would make big changes to how the motorcycle worked in Last Day on Earth. You will notice that again the last updates on the second roadmap were the most exciting. But as they progressed through this roadmap, around the time they got close to the ATV, update, they diverged yet again from the plan. This was also about five months after they released the second roadmap, and you'll notice that while the second roadmap had some exciting updates on it, the ATV update was nowhere to be found. Some of us theorized that the secret update might be the ATV, but now that it's been five months and they are diverging from the plan again, we are starting to notice a pattern as to when they diverge from their stated plans. It seems that the devs of Last Day on Earth will do anything they can not to release release the ATV update. The question we have now is why not? We know that it is not because the devs think the players don't want the ATV. 11 months ago, the devs sent out a poll asking players which updates they were most excited about, and the ATV and multiplayer updates won by a landslide. We also know that it is not because they are having trouble developing the ATV, because they have been showing us footage of the devs using the ATV and gathering resources from the Swamp Zone for over a year. Now, any Anytime the devs do something we don't like, a lot of players will accuse them of doing it for the money. But we also know that this is not true because they have clearly already paid to have it developed and introducing a third tier of resources is historically the best way for them to increase their revenue. So if it is none of those reasons, then I would like to posit the theory that Kafir is stalling. The ATV and multiplayer updates are what players have been most excited about. Sector 7 has ruined multiplayer for a lot of people so the ATV is all they have left. If they give us the ATV update without having something else in the works, they may lose even more players than they already have. If my first theory is correct, then that leads us to my second theory, which might feel a little bit more like a conspiracy theory. I believe Kafir is stalling because in addition to all of the other games that they're making, I think that their main focus is releasing a full Last Day on Earth game rather than developing a beta. Last Day on Earth began as a beta, but now that they have more money than they know what to do with, I think they are changing their tactic without telling us, and their updates on the beta are just designed to keep the community that they've already built. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, they are developing way more content than they are showing us. And the ATV is not the only reason I think this. Obviously, they have developed the ATV and they aren't releasing it, but in addition to that, Kafir is always posting pictures about new things that they are developing that we never end up seeing in the game. Like all of these places they've sent their employees to research for developing new locations for the game, sending your employees to do stuff like that is not cheap. So they would not be doing this if they didn't have some kind of plan to make money later on. So I think that they're developing more content secretly to release a full game. Because if they continue to develop the game as they have a little bit of a time, they will lose even more momentum than they already have. However, if they save up a ton of content so they can release a full game where 75% is stuff that we've never seen before, that might get many of the people who've walked away to try the game again. So I think Kafir is holding off releasing the ATV so that they can retain current player excitement without showing us the other content that they have been trying to keep secret. Well, that's it guys. If you agree with my theory or think you have a better one, let me know in a comment below. Also, thank you to those of you who have been watching my playlist of sponsored videos. Because you are doing this for me, I will be making more Last Day on Earth videos. And I'm curious what type of videos you are most excited about. Do you like game theory videos like this one? Or are you really wanting me to do more tutorial videos? I've been trying to wait on redoing some of my older out of date tutorial videos until the ATV comes out. But as I mentioned, this 
this video, I'm starting to become skeptical as to whether or not that will actually happen soon. Let me know by voting in this poll. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.